This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. We're going to go through part three of the section 1.3 practice task for our Microsoft Core Exam 2016 study guide. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to display the period two worksheet. And I'm going to do that. I'm in period one worksheet now. I'm going to page down, control page down to hit period two. Next, we need to resize the columns D through O to fit their content. Now, this is something that Excel, in a sense, does automatically for us. Um, I can select uh, column D, and then I'm going to hold my Shift key, click column O so that they're all highlighted. I'm going to find a divider between two columns, in this case, between D and E up here at the top. When I double-click this, Excel is automatically going to figure out how wide the column needs to be in order to display the content without any uh, contractions of it so that it's all clear and legible. Next, what they would like us to do is to check the width that Excel has picked for us in column D. And I'm going to do that just by clicking here on the border between D and E. When I click that, we'll notice it says our width is 166 pixels or 6.86. When I go to C, they would like me to match that. Now, here's a challenge that you may find with Excel. So as I drag this, it's going to skip through a bunch of numbers in order to try and get them exactly the same. Uh, if, if your mouse isn't super precise or your hand isn't very steady, that can be really tough to do, but it's usually people's first uh, option is to try that. What we're going to do is we're actually going to use a command through the Excel ribbon. We're going to go into Home, into Format, and we're going to go to Column Width. Once we're here in the dialog box, we're going to type in that 6.86 that we saw when we checked Column D and click OK. And now we know that that column is exactly the same as column D. Now, one other thing I'll note is that if you check these, because depending on the font that you're using and the number of digits, you may end up with columns that are different sizes. In this case, if I check some of these, we have everything from 686 on the left-hand side here. Column J here is 777. So they're not all the same. And uh, if you're like me, or, or if you're not, I, I like to have everything lined up so it's the same size. So let's do this manually here. I'm going to click all of these cells, and I'm going to go again into the Home ribbon by hitting Alt-H. I'm going to hit O for Format, and I'm going to hit W for Column Width. And the widest one I saw was 7.77. Click OK. And now all of my columns have the same width, which is very satisfying to a particular person such as myself. Thanks for watching our section 1.3 videos. I'll look forward to seeing you on our next set. Thanks for watching. This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory.